Hello guys, it's me again and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create your own EFI folder the easy way so I've received a lot of requests on the comment section for you guys asking create for me this EFI and I've done a lot of video about how to create your EFI but in today's video I'm gonna create a EFI folder the new way so without wasting much time happy new year guys so let's get started so first of all I'll put all the link in the description below where you can get all the tools I've used here so without wasting much time again let's continue so first you need the OC cut Windows version so you can go to the to this github repository i'll leave a link in the description so download the latest version and as you can see we have for linux win 64 mac and, and even the source code so what you need to do is download the if you have a windows like the one i'm using right here to make this tutorial just download the win 64 if you have a mac or a Hackintosh, you can just download this one. So you can just download it. So as you can see, I've already downloaded it. We have it here. I've just extracted it. So when you extract it, you'll see something like this. So you don't have to worry. And then I have the required effects. So here they are. So and then I have the latest version of open call which is 0.8.7 the released version again you can just download it from Terra repository I'll put a link in the description below also the sorry here it is you can da just download the released version and the necessary text you can just go to the gathering of files and then you just need to download the required cats so since we have already set up our stuff so let us open our OC auxiliary tools open it there we go so as you can see here it's supposed open code the latest version 0.8.7 but if you you see it has the 0.7.8 you just come here and then update the the open code just click here and then here you just choose the latest version from this and then you start or you just get the open code and then it will sync with the latest version so with that out of hand so what we need to do is just we need to so today i'll be using my my machine it is intel or i3 6100 so if you if we did some few research we can see the processor name and the code name of this processor so let's wait for it and then one thing guys if you need to create an EFI folder for any machine you'll need to know the code name of your processor knowing the laptop name or the desktop name or the PC name sorry won't help you so if you just come and say I need to create EFI for Lenovo or HP or ESA so which ESA which code name processor is that so this is the the right thing for you to do is just you just know the processor code name as you can see here uh, mine is Skylake so that's the first thing you need to do and then if you go to 
the processor graphics you can see this is Intel HD 530 so these two are the, the things you need to to understand so since we have already know our code name that's good so let's go to open this one Okay, let's say open code. Okay. So, and then open another tab, and then for me, I will just search for Skylake. Sorry, Skylake. And this one is a desktop. So, we just leave it at there. Then, so here, I just come to edit here on your OZ auxiliary tool and then just come to database so for me I just need to look for your CPU code name as you can see mine is the 6th gen Skylake so if you so we have just selected our our config.plist and then what you need to do is just click on generate the EFI so as you can see here it has finished generating the EFI and then you need to add this this so click OK so as you can see here it has generated our EFI here on the desktop let me move it here okay so and it has just created everything for us so you just you don't need to do anything so if you go to you can see our graphics display it has already been added so and then if you go to kernel and then these are missing so but i don't need them for now just make it to false and then click on save and you go to misc you can see everything that's been done for us nvram you can see here and if you see this the one that has an ash in front of it that means this is it is not active i mean this is uh, inactive the ones that are active are this one so if you go here and then you will see this one and this one so but if you go to let's say let me go to drivers we have everything there we are missing some things like the cakes but as you can see we don't need a lot of it but it has just downloaded for us so that's good that's good so if you go for tools sorry i mean we are missing the tools that's where the open core release comes in handy so just open it x64 OC and then tools and then let's op let's open our EFY and then tools so we'll need this one let me just drag it here okay so as you can see there it has just pop up automatically so that's great and then if you go to resources sorry let me just drivers everything's okay cakes everything's okay there so let us just save save it okay so but as you can see in our 
platmo platform info sorry the sm bios is for imac 17 comma one which means this 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 sm bios cannot boot the latest ventura so we'll need to generate uh, imac one comma one so that we can boot the Mac OS Ventura. So just generate like this one and then save it. And then come to where, where is that, where is that? Okay, here. So on our boot hugs, we need to, let me, we need to refer to the, the guide here. So let's go to where, 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 NVRAM. NVRAM, so here we go. So let's see, as you can see here, we need this V debug. 100 so let's let me add this one double click and then let's paste this one and then space paste space and then i'll add the audio layout mine is 66 so i know that okay so that's that where 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 sorry debug and then keep Then I'll seed equal to sixty six. Okay, so let's save it. We are done from there. Here we need to that's okay. There, everything's just fine. So here we just external. Okay, and like that one. So Okay, so everything just look okay from here, and I think our EFI is ready, so let me just close this one, so guys I think this EFI is ready to boot the macOS Ventura and i've just created my bootable usb so i'll just add this link and as simple as that guys you have just created your own efi as fast as that so guys it's no big deal here as you can see we have just you have just take i think 15 minutes or less so it's very simple guys it's very simple and as you can see nowadays before the OC, the oc card version the other version did not come with the cakes you have to put them manually but as i can see here that it has just downloaded our our cakes automatically so that's it guys that thanks for this and happy new year guys please subscribe to the channel subscribe 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 let me get to 1k we are 42 people away on reaching that target so guys 
if any of these videos have helped you in any way just hit the like the subscribe button like the video share and i'll see you in the next one probably next year so that's it for this video guys